Quantum mechanics is one of the most successful and perplexing theories in science. It describes the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, where strange things happen that don't fit into our everyday understanding of reality. Yet, there's one fundamental question that still perplexes us. How and when do quantum systems choose a particular state? Today we're going to explore the Penrose interpretation of quantum mechanics, a theory that tackles this very question by proposing that quantum collapse might be driven by the nature of gravity itself. Roger Penrose, the renowned physicist, has spent decades exploring how quantum mechanics and general relativity, the theory that describes gravity, might work together. His interpretation proposes that quantum collapse is not just a random event, but a physical process tied to gravity. To begin, let's take a step back and examine the fundamental problem in quantum mechanics, the measurement problem. At the heart of this problem is the famous thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. In quantum mechanics, particles like electrons or photons can exist in multiple states at once, called superposition. Schrodinger's cat, placed in a box, is both alive and dead until we observe it. This is a fundamental part of quantum theory, but it leads to a major question. When does the system decide on a particular state? And what causes the collapse of the superposition into a definite outcome? In most interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the Copenhagen interpretation, the collapse of the wave function happens instantaneously upon measurement. But the truth is, no one really knows how or why this happens. The Copenhagen interpretation suggests that before we measure a system, it exists in a superposition of all possible states. Once we observe it, the wave function collapses and the system chooses one of those possible states. But the question remains, what triggers the collapse? Roger Penrose's interpretation, often referred to as the Penrose interpretation or the objective reduction or theory, offers a radically different approach. He believes that the collapse of the quantum wave function is not a result of observation, but instead it is driven by gravity. Penrose proposes that quantum superpositions, such as an electron being in two places at once, can exist only until the gravitational effects of the different possibilities become large enough. When the separation between different possible states of the system becomes significant enough, gravity will cause the wave function to collapse. In essence, Penrose suggests that gravity, which has a fundamental influence on space-time, plays a key role in bringing the quantum world into a definite state. How does gravity influence quantum collapse? To answer this, Penrose drew on ideas from general relativity, Einstein's theory that describes the force of gravity. Gravity has a direct relationship with space-time itself. According to Penrose, the superposition of states in quantum mechanics, such as a particle being in two places at once, creates a conflict with the fabric of space-time. The different possible quantum states cause slight differences in the curvature of space-time. As these differences accumulate, gravity itself forces the system to collapse into a definite state, selecting one of the possible outcomes. Penrose calls this process objective reduction or OR. Unlike the standard view, where the collapse is triggered by the observer, in the Penrose interpretation, the collapse happens naturally due to the effects of gravity on the quantum system. So how can we test the Penrose interpretation? How can we know if gravity is truly responsible for a quantum collapse? Penrose's theory makes a fascinating prediction that quantum superpositions involving large masses should undergo objective reduction at a certain point, observable as a discrete event. This could, in principle, be detected in experiments that measure the effects of gravity on quantum systems. One possible experiment involves creating large quantum superpositions using microscopic objects. If gravity plays a role in collapsing these superpositions, we could detect the effects of the collapse in the form of a sudden change in the system's state. The Penrose interpretation has profound philosophical implications. If quantum collapse is indeed driven by gravity, it suggests that the fabric of reality, space-time itself, 
is deeply intertwined with quantum mechanics in a way we hadn't previously imagined. Penrose's theory might also provide clues for reconciling quantum mechanics with general relativity, two pillars of modern physics that have traditionally been difficult to unify. The Penrose interpretation hints that there might be a deeper unified framework, one where gravity isn't just another force but a fundamental component of quantum processes. Of course, Penrose's interpretation is not without its critics. Many physicists argue that the role of gravity in quantum mechanics is still speculative, and some point out that other interpretations, such as the many worlds theory or Copenhagen, don't require such an exotic connection. Despite these challenges, the Penrose interpretation remains an important contribution to the debate over the foundations of quantum mechanics. It pushes the boundaries of how we understand quantum measurement and suggests that perhaps the solution to the quantum measurement problem is far more connected to the structure of space-time than we ever realized. In conclusion, the Penrose interpretation offers a fascinating and profound perspective on quantum mechanics. By tying the collapse of quantum states to the influence of gravity, it suggests that the universe operates in ways we are only beginning to understand. While the theory is still being explored and tested, it offers a compelling glimpse into the nature of reality and the fundamental forces that govern it. Whether or not we can confirm Penrose's interpretation in the future, one thing is clear. His work continues to inspire new ways of thinking about the quantum world and the universe at large. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Penrose interpretation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of the cosmos.